Now in this last part, we're asked to factorize f of x completely. And we already have found out that x plus 1 in an earlier part then was a factor. So by dividing x plus 1 into our cubic polynomial here, we get the quadratic factor. And this tells us that x plus 1 times the quadratic factor should equal this cubic expression here. In other words, what we've got is that f of x equals this, but this is equal to x plus 1 multiplied by that quadratic factor 2x squared minus 9x plus 4. And because it says factorize f of x completely, it does seem to suggest that the quadratic factor factorizes again. So we've got x plus 1 then, and this quadratic factor, if we split it into two other linear factors, we can see that it's got to be a 2x and an x, and it's got to be a minus 1 and a minus 4. If you check that out, that expansion there does give you your 2x squared minus 9x plus 4. So there's f of x then factorized. You could though do it another way, and that is that we know that x plus 1 is a common factor. And without doing this algebraic long division, we could say, well, OK, let's just put this down here. f of x equals x plus 1 multiplied by some quadratic factor. So what have we got to multiply the x by to give us the 2x cubed? Well, it's got to be 2x squared. What has the 1 got to multiply with to give us that plus 4? Well, it's got to be plus 4. So that gives us the start of our quadratic factor, and we've got the end part here. We just need to get the x term. And we could do that by considering, for instance, what is going to give us the x term here, minus 5x. We want to create that minus 5 for our x term. And where's that minus 5 going to come from? Well, when we multiply the x with the 4 here, we're going to get an x term. This is going to be 4x. Where else are we going to get an x term from? When we do 1 multiplied by this value here, 1 multiplied by something. And then we've got to, as I say, add 4x to it. And we've got to end up with minus 5x. So Really, we want to have minus 9x in here. Minus 9x plus that 4x will give us the minus 5x. And that's what it's, we've got to put here, minus 9. OK, so that is an alternative way that we could get our quadratic factor, rather than dividing in. But it's up to you. You choose, obviously, which method you think is the quickest. And uh, obviously, once you've got your quadratic factor, you could split it then into two linear factors, just like I did here. All right, so I hope that's given you some idea then of how you could go about this question.